Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Similarity. In this video, I will talk about how to move particles along a curve in Houdini. So let me first uh, tell you overall uh, how this actually works. So basically uh, to move particles along a curve, all we need is to do give particles a velocity that is pointed along the curve. And uh, to do that, we basically need a vector. Uh, because velocity is also a vector so basically we need a vector that is pointed along the curve and then we will use that vector as a velocity for particles okay <coughs> so this is uh, this is the overall idea so uh, let, let's just see this in action okay so first we will add our sphere here Okay, next we will add pop network. So uh, these are our particles that we will move along a curve. Right now these particle uh, doesn't have any kind of velocity in them. So you know, these are static particles because if you see if I play this here, you can see these particles are not moving right now anywhere. Okay. So let me uh, create a curve here. So basically we will use a spiral curve. Uh, you can also use a curve node to you know draw some custom shapes but uh, right now we will use a spiral because I think it will look more cool. So this is our spiral and let me increase its height. Also uh, Let me uh, move it some somewhere here. Okay. Also, so like I said, we need a vector that's pointed along the curve and then we will use that vector as our velocity for the particles. Okay. So to create that vector, we will need a polyframe node. And as you can see here, uh, that polyframe node basically, uh, create these three vectors uh, normal tangent and bitangent so what we need is this tangent u vector and as you can see this tangent u vector is actually pointed along the curve okay <coughs> so now we will plug this vector into the second input and then we go inside this pop network and we will create a pop wrangle Okay, uh, next what we do, v at the rate v is equal to uh, near point. One comma at the rate. Okay, one comma v at the rate. And then uh, don't worry i will explain this uh, what i am doing in this code first let first let just uh, let me write all the codes here then i'll explain step by step what i'm doing here Okay, so as you can see, our particles are following the curve. Okay, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> okay, so let me explain what what uh, what is happening here. So basically, what I did, 
uh, okay let me open the photoshop and uh, so uh, basically uh, this is our curve right something like this and uh, we have these uh, points on the curve which have a tangent u vector is stored in them as an attribute you know these tangent u vectors which is pointed along the curve right <coughs> and then uh, we have our source particles here you know in the form of a sphere you uh, know right in the center of the grid okay so what i'm doing right now uh, let me check our code first see this line i at the rate np is equal to near point 1 comma v at the rate p so and uh, then here v at the rate v and you can read the code so let me explain you what i'm doing so what i'm doing right now is for each of these particle i am getting the nearest point on the curve on this spiral curve and let's say for this particle the nearest uh, point on this curve is this one right this one this point and then what I'm doing is uh, I'm getting the tangent u vector of this point and then I assign the tangent u vector for of this point as a velocity to this particle okay okay let me explain this again so what I'm doing for each of these particle I'm getting the point which is nearest to them and when I find the point then I get the tangent u vector of that point on the curve and then I use that tangent u vector as a velocity of this particle okay so let's say if I have this particle the nearest point will be this and then I get the tangent u vector this vector and then I assign this tangent u vector as a velocity of this particle okay so that's what I'm doing so you know uh, for the next frame if the particle moves here no, this our, our uh, you know uh, our main particle then again this uh, in the next frame this uh, particle again finds the nearest point on the curve let's let's say if, the, uh, if this particle find this point and then use the tangent u vector of this point as a velocity you know for itself and that's why that is why this these particles are moving along the curve because you know uh, you know as this particle keeps on moving you know for every uh, every uh, what, what i say for uh, every time for every frame these particles uh, will have some point nearby on this curve and for every uh, point that is on this curve has a tangent u vector in it and then this particle the our you know our main particle use that tangent u vector as a velocity and as you know that this tangent u vector points in the along the direction of the curve that's why our particles are following this curve okay so that's what happening here right and as you can see here our particles are following the curve also uh, let me create some disturbance in the particle so it may not look like you know some snake kind of thing okay uh, let me give it here some pop drag to make it look more natural what pop drag does it basically you know kind of uh, slows the velocity you know it, it kind of uh, you know act as a resistance you know for the velocity okay so you know uh, you know in the, or you can say that uh, eventually our particle will uh, lose its energy and comes to rest if it's moved for a very long time but as you can see uh, we have already uh, life expectancy, uh, expectancy of 100 and everything so you can you can you know you know you can play with this value and create multiple kind of effects but what uh, what i have to say that pop drag basically uh, kind of act as a resistance to the velocity okay so let's see you know it it actually looks more natural to me that's it also uh, let me also add pop wind here and increase its uh, amplitude and swirl size we, we will decrease it so that you know we can get more uh, noisy pattern hmm. let me increase it to a bit more and this here 
let's see what happens yeah you can already see that uh, we have you know some kind of what you see like uh, in hollywood movies you will see you have seen like uh, some what you say uh, group of bats coming from a cave or something like that yeah i know i'm very bad with at that <laughs> sorry okay so uh also let me add one more thing attribute adjust color uh remap attribute and uh, let me change to white water and uh, use age age for the particle in compute range okay see here oh it's already looking very great yeah okay so this is it for this video and uh, uh, so actually this is my first video uh, in my channel and uh, if you wanna you know uh, if you want if you have something in mind you want me to create a video for I can do that just please uh, give me something in the comment and if you like my video please do subscribe uh, this is my first video if you subscribe me if you like me I would really I would really feel motivated to create future videos so that's it thank you thank you for watching my video thank you very much okay bye